on fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the DX Ultra Access Card and Ultra Metal SP Ultraman Zero and Six Kyodai set. Kyodai being the word for brothers. So we have Ultraman Zero here and then we have the six Ultra Brothers. We have Ultraman, Ace, Seven, Taro, Jack, and Zafi. So we also get the Leito card as you can see which is really the big get for this set because this was previously an apparel exclusive and it was impossible to find and going for crazy prices on the aftermarket and they just kind of invented this set as a way to get the card out to people in retail which is very much appreciated because like i said crazy prices for the card on the aftermarket and this set was very easily attainable normal retail release i think it was somewhere in the area of like 10 to 15 dollars i don't even remember but very much worth it now the seven metals are just aesthetically different uh, they don't have any new sounds in the Zet Riser. There's really nothing going on there. They just have uh, pictures of the Ultramen wearing their mantles, the big like collared cape uh, get-ups that they wear, which are actually pretty cool. And now that Zero has one, they have him wearing his blue one over here, which is pretty cool. But otherwise, they don't really make any new sounds. The Leto card will definitely unlock some new sounds for us, but I'm not going to bother going through every one of these in the in the Zet Riser because the sounds have already been heard. I will use these three for a form with the Leto card, but other than that, I, it's just the same sounds you've already heard. So we'll take a look at them up close because aesthetically they're different, but not going to go through them sound-wise. But anyway, here is the packaging. As you can see, nice picture of Zero up here on the top. Spin it around to the back, and it does show you combinations that can be made with the Leto card in the Zet Riser, so of course we'll check all that out. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of this stuff out of the packaging here, and we'll take a closer look. So here are the seven Ultra Metals and the Leto card. Let's take a look at each of these up close. So technically these aren't our first green metals, because we did have the Christmas one, but these are definitely our first translucent green metals. And they look great. You can actually see the chip in the back that gets read by the Zet Riser, so that's kind of neat. And then you can see you have Zero here with his mantle. And mantle is just what they call the collared cape. But this is called the zero mantle. And then the other guys have the brother's mantle. Because they have like six matching mantles for the six brothers. But yeah, zero looks pretty great. And like I said, as far as the sound effects go, this is going to sound exactly like the normal zero metal. It's just aesthetically different. Here is Ultraman. Here is Ace. Here is Seven. Here is Taro. Here is Jack. And here is Zoffy. So they all look pretty sharp. And I will just let you know that these little stands I have them on are stands that come with Gashapon releases. So they do not come in this set. I just want to make that known so people don't open up the set and then say, hey, where are the stands? I'm using them from a previous release, Gashapon releases. Uh, but here is the Leto card, finally in my possession. Very excited to finally have this. Now, apparently it's slightly different than the one that came with the apparel purchase. So if... You want to be a completionist, I guess technically you'd have to track down both. Because here you can see Zero is wearing the mantle on the back, and in the other one he's not. So apparently there are, and I think the stats are different as well if you would play the game with these cards. So technically there are some differences, so if you needed to have both, you could have both. But one is good enough for me, and this one was easy to come by. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in the Zet Riser so we can get to hear some sounds. All right, so like I said previously, I'm not going to go through all seven of the new metals because the sounds are not different. But the Leto card will definitely give us some new possible combinations. So let's go ahead and check that out.
So there you go, just with no metals, it's Ultraman Zero. So next up we will try Ultraman, Seven, and Ace. So, I'm still not 100% sure what that form is called. Grand Bid Zero or something like that. But I do want to show you real quick. It, all, it is featured here on the back of the packaging. And that looks really cool. That is a really neat form. So I like that a lot. Got the attack sound there. So we will take these out. We have a couple more forms we can check out. So first up we have Dinah and Cosmos. A little lackluster on the final attack there. Alright, next up we have Dinah Strong Type and Cosmos Corona Mode. Next up we have just Belial on his own. And last but not least, we have Orb Origin, X, and Ginga. Four, 
So that's kind of cool. You get the orb fanfare music, and then you get orb lightning attacker. I think this is a great set, if for no other reason than you can finally get the Leto card for an affordable price. But I do like the seven Ultra Medals that are included here. Yes, they're technically duplicates of ones you probably already have as far as sounds go in the Zet Riser. But aesthetically, they're very cool. I love the translucent green color scheme. I love that they all have their mantles in the pictures. I think that's really cool. So they're just kind of fun extra medals to collect. And like I said, the nice thing is this is a normal retail release. It's not too expensive. So to add these to your collection, just some fun extra medals to have. But really, the prize here is the Leto card for an affordable price because it was going for crazy prices in the aftermarket. And otherwise, I probably wouldn't have one. So definitely happy to add it to my collection. Probably will not be tracking down the other version because, like I said, the prices are just kind of insane. They may go down a little bit now that this one's available and demand is a little bit less there, but only time will tell. In any case, I definitely recommend this set. I think it's a nice, fun set for an affordable price, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.